we commissioned Lisa to produce these two paintings of specific dimensions because we have this great space to fill here at May House. And we feel that her work reflects the local area, the skies, the seas. She's got a great way of capturing light on water. And we wanted to share that with the visitors we have here at May House. Haven House is a cottage that has stood here for 200 years. It used to be the harbour master's uh, cottage and he used to look out for and guide in all the ships in the fishing boom that happened well over 100 years ago. It's just perfect for me because I paint seascapes uh, and it's just an idyllic spot. Not always when the wind is blowing a gale out there. And when it is windy, the house will shake. I get my inspiration from uh, mainly nature and uh, being outdoors. I'm, I'm just an outdoor girl, so I love being outdoors. Um, particularly drawn to the sea. I love how uh, a day by the beach or by the sea is never the same. In particular, I'm drawn to the light and the way the light dances on the sea and the way it will hit a wave as a wave is breaking and I know when a moment is going to be a painting because it, it touches my heart and it does something and it makes me wake up, it makes me inspired and I just know that it's going to make a good painting. Um, other things that I'm drawn to are forests uh, but it's always the light, it's always the way the light is maybe hitting the leaves or the way it will uh, penetrate through to the forest floor. Fairy stories, I love how you can go to a castle and it's full of myths and legends. So my paintings have now gone all around the world which I just feel so blessed about and so lucky that I've had some good clients um, and some good commissions uh, and lots of commissions actually. I was still in Brighton, I had a local MP he's actually still in Parliament, commissioned me for a piece that he wanted um, to put in his office in the Houses of Parliament, so that now sits in the Houses of Parliament, that painting. It's commissioned by the British Legion to do a painting to, for Prince Charles um, to commemorate 60 years since he first arrived in Case Ness, so again, amazing opportunity. Um, they gave me a brief of they wanted uh, the Royal Yacht and they wanted it at Dwarwick Pier which is where he first arrived in Caithness but other than that I was given free reign um, to produce this image for him and I got to meet him at Candice Bay Church, I shook his hand and he seemed delighted with the painting and it now actually hangs in the Castle of May which is his residence when he comes to Caithness, it's where he stays. Tommy and I, the, assi Tommy, the assistant and I go out in all weathers and we're gathering inspiration. I mean the joys of having a dog is that you have to go out no matter what and Tommy's used to it but I drag him out and we'll go and we'll be out in the wind, we'll go and stand on cliffs and it's just inspiring to be that close to nature. And I think that, that that feeling comes across in my paintings as well, is the w wildness of the weather and the, the rawness of it as well. It's just, you know, elementary is that feeling of just being exposed, but how nature can rip you or pull you back to yourself. Um, so I'm really excited for next year in particular because I'll be opening the doors uh, here of Haven House to um, invite people in to see my work. So every day I'll be open. I'll There's many ways that you can own a piece of Haven House art. So if you don't actually manage to make it up and visit me here in the house, uh, you have a website which you can buy my paintings direct, but you can also contact me for commissions um, plus like I said I will be in various outlets across the highlands and I'm hoping to actually get some outlets in the south coast of England. So this is me now and I'm sitting here and I'm living my dream um, I'm doing what I feel I'm meant to do and I just couldn't be happier 
and I know that it's been a struggle to get here, it's been hard, um, it's not easy, you, if you follow your path you will meet resistance, not everybody's going to understand what you're doing because it's not their path, um, but I would just say keep going, keep following your dreams and um, for me it was, I could not deny you know, I could not deny the calling that this was what I was meant to be doing and now every day gets easier. I think the, the hardest bit will be at the beginning when you first step out because it's all unknown and it's, it's difficult but it's worth every step because you become more fulfilled and you become happier and that means when you're happier you're able to give back to others and light the way for others to then step out and follow their path as well.